right? So we talked about the material characteristics so far. Okay. Now we talk about the process setup. So when you talk about process setup, mixing can be done in batches or it can be done in a continuous mode. So what is batch mixing? Basically in a batch mixing, all ingredients are loaded into the mixer together, you know, or in a predefined sequence mixed until a homogeneous material is produced and discharged from the mixer in a single lot. Okay. Most of the material, uh, the mixers that you have in your application in refractories, these are all batch mixers. So that's extremely important. Let's look at, you know, where these batch mixers are used, where the production quantities are small. Uh, where strict control of mixed composition is required. You want to produce many formulations on the same production line. Uh, in certain cases, you know, ingredient properties change over time and compensation must be made from batch to batch. Uh, it is also required to identify uh, the batches for further follow-up. Say, for example, in pharmaceutical formulation in food products, now it is across the industry, I'm sure, you know, you must be also identifying all the batches. So that's in these kind of applications, uh, we most commonly use uh, batch mixing. So it's obvious after batch, the next thing is, it's going to be a continuous mixing. So yeah, you have a simulation here of a, a continuous mixer. So in continuous mixing, material flows steadily from an upstream process into the mixer. It is retained in the mixing vessel for a specified mixing time and discharges at the same flow rate for the downstream handling. So there is an input and there is an output and the input matches the output and uh, you know, the material spends a specific time within the mixer that is called as a retention time. In such cases, the weighing, loading, mixing and discharge steps occur continuously and simultaneously. The process of charging the material in a continuous mixer is extremely critical and can significantly affect the quality of the final product mix. Where do you actually use these continuous mixers? You know, where large quantities of a single product are to be mixed. Uh, in a continuous process line requiring a high production rate, where batch, you know, strict batch integrity is not, not critical. So certainly pharmaceutical application, they don't really use uh, continuous equipment, mixing equipment. And in cases where you need to smooth out the batch variations in, in the product, you know, again, you want to kind of make sure that the multiple batches which are produced, uh, they have to go uh, to a customer, you know, in a large quantity and to even out the differences, you may use a continuous mixing equipment after batch mixing. 